If you could change any choices you have ever made, would you? You can always make another choice and change the course of your success. Everyone has the potency to make inspired choices. Get ready to listen, share, and experience the creativity that is you. Now, here is the host of Inspired Choices Radio Show, Christine McIver. Wow, welcome, 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 everyone. I am thrilled that you are here tonight. We've got a full house in the chat room. We've got people playing on Facebook, on TikTok. This is fantastic. This is all about people showing up and I love it, love it, love it. So I'm your host, Christine McIver. I am a business optimization expert and I am absolutely someone that loves, loves, loves to talk about how you can show up even more in your life and in your business. So tonight we're going to be talking about how to show up as an authority in your field. So how many people out there would absolutely love to feel and have the confidence to show up as an authority in their field and to really show up without worry, without any doubt, without being curious about, do I really know what I'm talking about? Do I really, really know what I'm talking about? Well, if that's you and if anywhere in your world you have doubt, I would love for you to join us during tonight's show. So if you would like to interact and play with us live, come on over to inspiredchoicesnetwork.com forward slash chat room. You're going to be able to interact with everybody in the chat room, ask questions, and you can also join the live studio as an audience member. Our producer will guide you there. So my name is Christine McIver, and what I do is I really work with individuals to bring them forward in their life to really maximize what they're doing to absolutely up their level of um, impact in the world, their level of presence in the world, to really move them forward with greater, greater revenue, and to have pleasure and joy while they're doing it. That is what I do. I'm also the CEO of Inspired Choices Network. And here at Inspired Choices Network, we take you from being the best kept secret to being a global authority. So if you know you would like to really step into all of your knowing, or you know someone that would really love to be able to get greater exposure in the world with massive support and not have to deal with any of the technology, please reach out to me. My email is christine at inspiredchoices.ca or you can find me on any social media platform. Just send me a message and I'd be happy to answer any questions and we can jump on a call and have a conversation. If not now, when? That's what I always think about. If not now, when? So let's jump into tonight's show. Let's really dive into what this is going to look like. So do you doubt that customers will hire you because they don't know how competent you are? Have you ever doubted that people won't hire you because they don't know how competent you are? Is your authority ever getting lost in your shadows of doubt? You know, doubt is a part of our lives. Doubt is a part of this reality, but doubt does not have to hold you back. And I'm going to talk about how doubt can actually be a partner for you. Let me ask you, when was the last time a customer sought you out because your authority was so well known? Have you ever had that occur? That someone really sought you out because they said, you know what, so-and-so told me about you and what you do. I can tell you that I personally had a great deal of doubt as I move forward in doing what I do in the world. But today, I absolutely have people that contact me and say those very words, and it is mind-blowing. But to get from that real doubt place to that place where you are showing up as the authority in what you know that can be a long road to hoe (laughs) and and it doesn't always have to be and that's what i really want to get you to dive into today with me and i would love for any questions or comments that you're that are popping up for you please drop them in the chat room or drop them in tiktok or in facebook and i'll do my best to answer them during the show and if you are listening after You can always send me an email for sure. Send me an email, christine at inspiredchoices.ca. I'm happy to answer any of your questions. I love getting your emails. It's fantastic. So is now the time for you to step up and own your authority? 
stand out in your field and expose and expose who you are, the brilliance that you are, and really explode your business forward. And if you immediately did not say, hell yes, then we've got some work to do. We've got some doubt in there. And that's okay. The fact that you're here, the fact that you're willing to at least lean into the possibility that you want to bring yourself forward to be the authority, that's a big choice right in and of itself. And that's what I really want to get into tonight. So I want you to ask yourself throughout the show, if not now, when? Just keep repeating that, okay? Write it on maybe a little sticky. Just keep repeating it. If not now, when? As you ask that question, more of the truth of you is going to rise above the doubt. And it's an, an incredibly helpful question to keep asking. And, you know, you might need to ask that at different times in your career. You might need to ask that at different stages in your business. It's a great question to keep coming back to so that you can really keep leaning into who you are here to be. Okay. So the first place I want to go is I want to talk about some of the definitions of the word authority. You know, if you've listened to my shows before, I love to really look at the etymology of words. And yes, there are several definitions of words. This is a reference that I have really enjoyed to utilize, and I'm going to keep doing that. So what I discovered with some of the original definitions of the word authority are prestige, right, permission, dignity, master, leader, and author. So those were some of the initial ones. Now, it went on to say legal validity. So somebody that makes things legal. So when you think of the authority, who's the authority, we would go into the police or the government, some kind of aspect like that. So that's not the type of authority most business owners want to be, right? And, and if you're coming from the place of, if you're a business owner and you have a team, a staff, and you're coming from the place of authority, you might end up with several <laughs> challenges along the way. And if you're in that space, I invite you to go listen to some of, uh, I did a series of shows called Courageous Conversations, and one of them is Courageous Conversations with your team. That's an important one for you as a business owner to really really look at and uh, coming from that space of being like, I'm, I'm right all the time is going to get you into some big, big challenges. Now, the next one, the next bit of definition of the word that I really loved of authority is power derived from good reputation, power to convince people and capacity for inspiring trust. Oh my gosh. That last section was so, it really resonated for me. And I thought, it, it, wouldn't it be interesting if when we thought about being an expert in our field, being an authority in our field, if we came from that energy of those words, of, of really what authority meant. Now, every word can be interpreted through our own lens. And that's an important piece to remember. So when you, when you, when somebody says, um, this is what I think of, and a word comes out of their mouth, ask them for a, a deeper definition of that word. What does that word actually mean to you? Because oftentimes, even though you might have a dictionary definition, their engagement with that word, their um, interaction with that word, maybe the word, the, the way that word was used in their life um, towards them as a child, they could have a very different definition of that word. The very cool thing is there's no word police around what that definition needs to be for you. You get to choose. And I would love to invite you into the, this last section of this definition. So power derived from good reputation power to convince people, and capacity for inspiring trust. So 
I, the one in the center power to convince people might put people off like as if you're like trying to control them. That's not what it's saying. I'll come back to that in a minute. But if you are a heart centered um, entrepreneur, business owner, um, even a heart centered employee that's working within other organizations, if you are coming from the space of the capacity for inspiring trust, whether it's with your customers, whether it's it with the business you work in or for, whether it's with your manager, your leader, your, your boss, whatever the case may be, you want to always be inspiring trust. Because when people when people trust you, right, when they get to know who you are and they really get to um, understand you, where your heart is coming from, they begin to trust you. And a customer and a client on some level needs to trust you or trust your brand before they are going to do business with you. And so when you look at it from the aspect of, I am choosing, because this is where you want to come from, I am choosing to be an authority in what I do. And I don't care what you do, self-employed, not self-employed, it doesn't matter. But I'm choosing to be an authority in what I do. And part of that is having the capacity to inspire trust. So I just really want you to really receive that information because that information is going to be something that is going to fuel you. And as you're coming from that aspect of inspiring trust, there is a different energy with the word authority when doubt tries to come in. How many of you would agree with that? Doubt doesn't get as much space when you are talking about capacity for inspiring trust. I think that most people want to be trusted and they care that people trust them. And so when they're, the, just the idea of the capacity for inspiring trust and having a, that good reputation, that has people step up to what they are being, the energy that they are being in a very different way. And that is actually, for me, I believe some of the very first places where you start to step in to be an authority. So you're coming from a heart-centered space. You desire to inspire trust. You want to have a good reputation. You're going to pay attention to your choices. You're going to pay attention to your focus. You're going to pay attention to becoming educated, to becoming a craftsman in whatever you do. And so you're going to continue to grow yourself and learn. Someone that um, maybe learned how to do business and then stopped and said, you know what, this is good enough. I'm not going any farther. Their trust actually starts to, to erode if they are not continuing to grow and evolve themselves, continuing to learn at what's going on around the world and continuing to listen to your customers and clients. You, part of becoming an authority is learning to be someone who listens. Listening is a skill that someone in authority needs to be. If you are someone who who feels like you are an authority in your, in your area of expertise, but you're not listening to the needs or the questions from your clients and customers, you are not going to grow your reach. You're not going to grow with your organization. You're not going to grow with what the demand is in the world. It's very important that each and every one of us continue to grow and evolve. So that's another big piece of becoming an authority. So when we come back from break, we're going to go to our first break shortly. And when we come back from our break, we're going to talk about what really, what does it look like to be an authority in your field? What does it look like to be an authority in your field? And this is often the space where we go into our doubt, where we go into competition and comparing 
And that this is where we actually start to pull back. And that does not do anything for us. It doesn't do anything for our business. It doesn't do anything for our bank account. It doesn't do anything for our relationships. And it certainly doesn't do anything for those customers and clients out there who are looking to work with somebody with your level of knowledge. So you may have the level of knowledge, but until you actually trust yourself and you're coming from that space of trusting yourself, you're not going to be seen as an authority. So my friends, you are listening to Inspired Choices on the Inspired Choices Network. I'm your host, Christine McIver. After the break, I would love you to join me in the chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. Until then, keep asking the question, if not now, when? See you after the break. Many of us make choices based on our past experiences or based on what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert, Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know, but may not choose, that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back. She brings all her expertise to every show. Are you ready to create and live the life you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert, Christine McIver. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. All right, my friends, thank you so much for being here tonight. If you're just joining us, you definitely need to go back and listen to the first segment. Tonight's show is how to show up as an authority in your field. So in the first segment, we really talked about the word authority, what it really means, and some of the aspects that you want to be coming from when you are looking to become an authority in your field. So what is it that that you require to be an authority in your field. So what is it about your field? The first thing that I want to ask you is, do you have a very um, finely tuned knowing of what you do? And I know that sounds a little odd, but <laughs> the thing is, is that a lot of people, which is so in interesting, um, a lot of people feel like, they, they do know what they do. Um, they know what somebody just said, not at all. Okay, good, good answer. Um, some people feel like they know very well what they, um, what they do and how they can speak to it. And earlier this week, was it yesterday? <laughs> the days for me. Um, earlier this week, I was speaking in a group and I was talking about really kind of around this whole topic and talking about, you know, stop telling people your job title. I was speaking to people don't want to know your job title. They want to know what you are going to do for them. That's a very small aspect of what I spoke to, but um, <laughs> yeah, there's somebody in the chat room who said when she was working out. So what we did during, after the talk that I gave is we practiced talking about very succinctly what it is that we do from the aspect of the problem we're going to solve for our clients and our customers. And it was 
a fun exercise. It was a challenging exercise too. I know that there were a lot of people that were like, oh, I thought I had this down pat. It's not the elevator speech that we've all been taught to have. It's very, very different and incredibly impactful. But um, somebody in the chat room said, I get tongue tied so often. Um, thank you. And she also said it was a great talk yesterday. Thank you so much. Um, and another person says, uh, sometimes I think I do, but then good old doubt comes in. Exactly. So here's the piece that we've got to get really clear with is, is understanding the problem that we solve, the problem that we solve. And if you come from that aspect of the problems that you solve, you will start to get a little more succinct about actually making this statement. And so when you have got that so clear and, and it speaks so, it, it's like, it's nearly 10 words or less, but it's, it's sometimes quite challenging. But this is something you've got to work on again and again and again. And when you get that down pat, I am telling you that is step one of knowing you are competent and capable. And knowing you're competent and capable is going to start to reduce your level of doubt. Now, doubt is going to creep in again and again and again and again. And how do we dissipate doubt? Well, one of the ways that we dissipate doubt is actually getting very clear about what it is that we do and doing that from the aspect of the problems we solve. And, you know, you I don't know anybody that can do this by themselves. So I'm just going to say that get a coach, hire a coach. It will be a fabulous investment in your business. And it will be a fabulous investment on beating doubt out the door. I am telling you, it is one of the absolute best things you can do if you are struggling with doubt in any capacity. So as you get this very, very clear and you start to work with that statement, whatever that statement is, as you start to work with that statement, your confidence is going to get better. So as you start to say that's that one sentence, yeah, beat doubt out, exactly. Um, as you start to say that one sentence over and over and over again, and you no longer trip over it you're going to not only know how to say the sentence with ease, you're going to start to believe it very deeply within yourself. And that's the part where, you know, if you've not done this, um, if you've not done this type of work to really own and believe in what you do and get rid of doubt when you are trying to take your authority out to the field, you're going to fall down on your face. I'm just going to tell you that because you're walking out there, you know, like shaking, energetically shaking, going on. Oh, are they going to believe me? Like, oh, shit. And, you know, and you're, you're, yeah, you're going to fall flat on your face. Exactly. But when you own this, when you own this statement, it changes everything everything. It does. It just really, really changes everything. So really getting clear with yourself about that. And so here is the statement that I use. This is one of two or three statements that I use. And I will say, I take you from the best kept secret to a global authority. Period. I do. I know I do. And as I've repeated that and shared that with people again and again, it's become one of my taglines for the business. I take you from the best kept secret to a global authority. And knowing that in everything that I choose, in every aspect of my business, as I look at what I'm adding and how we're doing it, guess what my target is? To take people out of being a secret. And show them in everything that we do, in every interaction, what a global authority looks like and how they can show up in that. So now that I have that very clear within me, when I take that out to the world, guess what? As I say that with confidence and the knowing that I have been doing this, right? So that's another aspect is how do you become an authority in your field? 
is you need to practice. You need to do it. 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 And when you're doing it, this is a bonus. This is not what you need to run and do. A lot of people will run and do this thinking this is going to sell them. <laughs> Getting testimonials is absolutely great. Testimonials are a quick cursory view that anyone will take before way. That's like one of the first kind of things they might look at. That's not going to be their decision maker that you are an authority. Okay. Please don't hang your hat on people's testimonials. They are a great add-on. You, my friend, you're the person that they want to connect with, and you're the person that they need to build trust with so that they will choose to work with you. So what you want to get clear is how it's feeling within you. If you have doubt, if you, let's say you come up with this one sentence and you still have doubt around it, you need support. You absolutely need support in some of the actions that you need to start to take. So if you keep talking about something and talking about something, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You know what? You're not going to believe yourself that you're actually going to do it. If not now, when? Take a step. Take one step forward to start embodying that that you're desiring. And then start to become educated. Become very educated in that area that you would like to be an authority in. And maybe you already have some formal education. Well, maybe it's time to go out and it's time to meet other people that are actually doing that work. Connect with them. Engage with them. Engage. What does the word engagement mean? It's actually to have a real conversation. Most experts out there will give you 15 minutes to 30 minutes without charging for you to ask questions. And maybe there's someone that's doing what you would love to be doing that you could come up with five or six questions to ask them how you can step into being more of an authority in what they do. Now, if they get insulted by it, it's okay. There's other people. But most, most true people that are authorities and heart-centered authorities, they would love to support other people coming up. You know what? There's nearly 8 billion people in the world. No worries. There's plenty, plenty for all of us. So reach out and start to feel into this area of expertise. Read books, read books, read books, read books, read books, listen to books, listen to books. You know, people used to ask me, um, what kind of books do I read? Like, what's the latest book that I've read? And they were looking for, you know, the latest romance or, or an action-packed book that I read. And no, um, I read motivational books. I read business books because they light me up. Those are the things that have lit me up my whole life. There's very few romance or very few non-educating uh, books that I've ever read. And it's because I really desired to absorb, really drink in the knowledge that would move me to take the next step. So educate yourself. And then you're going to go out there and you're going to practice. And you're going to practice and you're going to practice and you're going to practice and you're going to practice. You got to keep practicing. You, in order to get good at anything, the practicing will help, first of all, your body to remember the actions, your body to, whether it's a physical thing that you need to practice, or it's actually being able to say things with total ease. I'll never forget. I'll never forget when I, um, you know, I came from the human resources field and I was an authority in that field for sure. And when I started going into, um, when I started going into life coaching and I took my life coaching training every weekend. So it was five weekends that we had to take it one weekend a month for five months. And, um, at one night on each weekend, we had to coach someone over the phone. It was a complimentary coaching session and um, we, we were to contact them and my team. So we had small teams within the coaching group. Um, my team challenged me to ask this person to be my client. I was freaked out. I was freaked out. And they're like, Christine, we're going to ask you when you come back tomorrow, if you did this, you have to do this. You've got to get over this because I was petrified. 
I was petrified to ask that question. And so when I asked that question, I was shaking. She was over the phone, so she couldn't see this, but I was shaking. My voice was shaking. I was so, so nervous. I had to practice. I had to practice and say, would you be interested in being my client? Would you be interested in coaching with me on a regular basis? I did not say it that way. I can tell you that I was like, um, like, do you think you might want to um, do this with me? <laughs> I was scared. She said, yes, thank the Lord, because she got me started. And uh, I'll never forget, like she, all she said to me, so how much is it? And I'm like, oh my God, now I have to tell her the money part. And I was like, holy crap. And then I said, $25 an hour. And I held my breath. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. She's going to say, no, that's too much. <laughs> it just, it still cracks me up. And it's okay, because it's where I began. It doesn't matter where you begin. You, we all begin at the beginning, right? And that's how you have to move. This is the direction you have to move in to lean in to become an authority is to fine tune what you say and to really get over knowing that you can do it. This is how you start to become an authority. It's getting in there and practicing, practicing saying what it is that you do from the aspect of the problem for your client, get in there and say, asking for the sale. Oh my gosh, I've taught so many people how to ask for the sale that I've asked. I've been in sales like for many, many years doing the life coaching, asking for the sale was the hardest one for me, but learning how to ask for the sale is key. It is so key and getting that down and the place with confidence that shows you as an authority again. So we've got more to share with you. Uh, we were up for our next commercial break. Please stick around, drop your comments in the chat room. We're having a great time in there. You're listening to Inspired Choices. I'm your host, Christine McIver here on the Inspired Choices Network. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Many of us make choices based on our past experiences or based on what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert, Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know, but may not choose, that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back. She brings all her expertise to every show. Are you ready to create and live the life you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app, our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert, Christine McIver. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I'm having fun with the show. I hope you are as well. I hope you're getting lots of little tidbits and writing them down because you know what? Showing up in your brilliance is such a gift to not only you, but to the world. Because the happier you are, the happier you are, the happier your clients are going to be, and the happier we are going to take, the more happiness we're going to take out to the world. And that changes the world. So please, please keep choosing for you. Please keep adding to your world. Keep adding to your joy and your pleasure. It's so, so important. So I'd like to ask you something. If you are a business owner and you're someone that's been struggling to really up-level your revenue, if you're someone who's struggling to take your business to the next level and you would really love to have support from someone who's been there and done that, I would love for you to reach out to me. 
I have a special package. It's a strategic business package. And what I do is I work with individual entrepreneurs, no matter whether it's their first day or it's, you know, 10, 20 years into their business. I really give everything that they're doing. I give their, their footprint across all social media, their website, everything. I give it a, a real deep look and I look at where the gaps are and where they can take things to the next level. And then I work with them to really plan out their actions for the next six months that will double their income. That is something that lights me up to show people the simplicity of how they can truly double their income. It is not that hard, but I have some very cool ways that I do that with, with different entrepreneurs. I've done it for years now. So if that's something that would interest you, if that's something that would really help and to guide you forward in doing things as opposed to just creating and throwing it out in the world and hoping to God that people choose it, I would love to hear from you. Contact me, Christine, at inspiredchoices.ca. Send me an email. Or you can even text me 519-574-2199 and I will set up a conversation. I will look at what you're doing. I will see if it's a good match and we can go from there. Who knows, by the end of next year, you might even more than have doubled what you're doing in your business. And I can tell you everything that I bring to the show about your authority and your voice and your message and all that, you're going to get all of that when I'm working with you as well, because I can't not say these things when I notice them in something that an entrepreneur is doing. So I would love to hear from you. Let's really make a change. Let's make 2023 a year that we are celebrating more often than we are feeling sad and frustrated and lost. What kind of a world would we have if, every, if that was everybody's tar target? To feel happier more than we are feeling right now. That would be incredible. All right, let's get back to the show. So talking about being an authority in your field. So first of all, we talked about you need to know who you are. Know who you are. Absolutely, you've got to be very clear about your message. And you've got to have conversations with yourself. You know, one of these exercises that I've done for different things and, and lots of different people um, in healing modalities and spiritual modalities in, in lots of different areas have, have suggested this exercise. Um, and it can be uncomfortable, but it's talking to yourself in the mirror, talking to yourself in the mirror. You see, there's a part of you that's inside of you that's still that little child. And it's still that little child who's had traumatic experiences. And that little child's traumatic experiences are going to rise up in you when you start to experience anything similar to those traumatic instances where somebody didn't believe you, where someone didn't choose you on the baseball game, like you weren't good enough, where there was um, somebody was doubting you or somebody called you a liar or people rejected you. Anytime you start to experience any of that, it's going to get even stronger because of those experiences you've had most definitely as a child or in your past. We've all had them. And that is where doubt gets a hold and really starts to like, you know, do multiply and multiply and doubt can become so overwhelming. It can really knock us back for a very, very long time. And it doesn't need to be. So this exercise of looking in the mirror at the end of your day and saying something amazing to yourself, and I'm not talking about blowing smoke, like you could look in the mirror and go, dinner tonight was awesome. I really loved it. We did it. We made a beautiful meal. Yay us. You know, um, yesterday was a super, super long day for me. I did, a, I ran an event. I did a talk. I did a huge presentation. I mean, I was on, 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 on At the end of the day. I looked in the mirror and I said, you did it. We did it. Look what we did. That was amazing. Oh my God. It was fantastic. I celebrated with me and I thanked me. And, you know, some people might go, you are insane and that's okay. Because you know what? If you're not going to cheer you on, if you're not going to give yourself the accolades 
I am telling you right now, you're going to be searching them for them from other people and you are going to be disappointed. Nobody can fill up your cup enough to squash those old traumas or that doubt. It has to be you. They can support you. Absolutely. They can maybe be, you know, a, a loving arms at the end of the day, but no one is going to change this but you. And this is an important exercise for you to really own what you're doing and to really love each step that you are taking. The next thing is you want to really set your footprint in the sand, set your footprint in the sand of your area of expertise, right? So do you have a professional footprint on social media, on your email, on your, the way that you show up? If you're showing up on video, get a professional background, set it up professionally, look professionally. You know, when we used to go out to work and, you know, we would have to get dressed up every day and we would have to make sure, you know, that our outfits were clean or whatever. If you didn't wear, you know, a, a uniform, you all, always were trying to present yourself in the best light, right? Like, you know, at any moment in time, a customer could come, come in, the boss could come in, whatever. You always wanted to look your best. And we, pardon me, we strived to look our best. Well, I know many, 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 most actually people that are working from home actually don't care. They're not putting the effort in. We've gotten very lazy. And I'm telling you to smarten up, smarten up. If you're not going to make you a priority in your daily life, you're going to miss out on opportunities because people are going to want to connect with you and you're going to be like, um, can we actually do that tomorrow? Because you're not ready. You need to have a shower or, um, you know what? I'm just running out the door and because you're like, you're just not in a strong mindset, right? So you want to show up as a professional. I remember um, one of my first businesses, I was uh, 21, I think. And um, no matter what was happening in my life, when I would walk into my customer's home, I would, we were taught, and I, this is a really great thing, we were taught to leave our troubles at the door. So I would walk in and I might be feeling, you know, like really down or sad or worried or whatever, but I would walk in and I would step into the best me that there was. And I would show up as me and I would give everything to my clients and my customers while I was there. Can you say that you do that when you get to your desk every morning? If you work from home, are you bringing your best self? You are, when you're, when you are actually taking care of your appearance, you're putting on a nice outfit. I'm not talking about fancy, fancy, but you're putting on a clean shirt. You're feeling clean. You're feeling put together. You've brushed your hair. You maybe for the women, you've got some makeup on. You don't have to look like you're going out to the gala, but really when you show up like that, you feel different and you show up in your authority in a better way. You come from more of a confidence energy and that makes a huge, huge difference. And then what makes you an authority is when you are going out there and communicating with people and you are engaging with people. You have got to engage with people and talk about what it is that you do. You need to talk about what you know. Do not make a pretty website and a fancy signature for your email and a pretty business card and then sit back and hope and pray that people are going to show up. They're not going to show up that way. You, my friend, have got to go out there and engage. Get involved. Get involved in a professional group. I just got involved in two professional groups and oh my gosh, the interaction and the engagement is outstanding. It is absolutely amazing. It's not the surfacey ones where we used to go to the networking groups and everybody pass around their business cards and everybody go home and throw the business cards out. Like it's not that. It's really, it's face-to-face -face interaction and then we communicate one-on-one -on -one and it makes a huge difference because guess what? In every one of those interactions, as you're meeting people, you're talking about go back to the first section of the show, you're talking about that one line of what you do. So it becomes this circle of where you reinforce 
what you know about yourself. This is very important. And this is part of that practice, practice, practice. The next piece that I want to talk about, and then we're going to jump off to our final um, commercial tonight, is I want you to allow yourself to share what comes to you. So you've been doing your brilliance, you've, you've got your knowledge base quite high, you've been practicing and practicing and practicing, and you go out there with this knowledge, and you start to engage with people. And then, and then as things come to you, you allow yourself to not only receive, but you allow yourself to share what comes to you. Allow yourself to share. This is not about being smarter than somebody else. This is not about telling people what to do. This is about allowing yourself to share. There is things coming to you because you've been in this zone of genius and you've been crafting, you know, you've been working on your craft, you've been working on what you know, you've been educating yourself, you've been practicing, you have clients, you have customers, you're reading about it. You know, you know more than you think you know. And keeping it inside of you is a surefire way to make sure that nobody knows you are an authority in what you do. So this is important when something comes to you and it's unexpected, it's not something you planned on saying, it's not something you wrote down in practice. When something comes to you, begin to share it. You might share it quite softly at first, but then as you're knowing gets stronger and stronger, be willing to communicate your knowing in the moment of connection and engagement with others. This is where they're going to be like, wow, okay, that's interesting. And that's going to come across very authentically. It's not going to come across like you just read it. It's going to be intertwined into the conversation. And so that's where they're going to know that you are the real deal. This is an important piece that you want to start looking at once you feel more confident. Okay, we're off to our last break of the show. Do not go away. I want to talk to you right after this break. You're listening to Christine McIver here on the Inspired Choices Show on the Inspired Choices Network. And we'll be right back. Many of us make choices based on our past experiences or based on what others believe. What would our lives be like if we made our choices based on what we desire for our futures? When you join the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert, Christine McIver, you'll be provoked to look at what is true and what you know, but may not choose, that requires your attention. Christine does not hold back. She brings all her expertise to every show. Are you ready to create and live the life you truly desire? Listen for Inspired Choices every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspire Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspire Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is the Inspired Choices Show with business optimization expert, Christine McIver. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also make the choice to ask or comment by email by sending to christine at inspiredchoices.ca. Now, back to the program. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for being here tonight. I've had fun. I hope you have too. And I hope you've been learning some things that's really going to take you to the next level. And this is what my shows are all about, is really encouraging you and inviting you into more of what is possible for you. I absolutely love inspiring others to step up because I know if 
if one of us can do it, we can all do it. These things are something that can be shared. There are so many amazing coaches in the world. We have over 6,000 pieces of content here on the Inspired Choices Network. All of them are available for free. You can find us on over 450 platforms. You, you just go to your favorite on-demand platform and search Inspired Choices Network or in search for Inspired Choices with Christine McIver, you will find me. It's favorite TV on your smartphone app, uh, on your on-demand podcast platform, through your computer, on TikTok, you name it, we are out there. And you'll be able to enjoy this content and so much more from so many of them. It's fantastic. We had a question in the chat room. Um, and I want to give a shout out to two new team members. We have we have four team members currently and two new team members just joined. And I'm thrilled to announce that two lovely ladies that are just going to be such a fabulous asset to the to the team. They're both named Sarah. So we're going to have some fun with the Sarahs. So we are bookended with Sarahs here. This is fantastic. I'm excited and I'm, I'm very grateful that they're both here tonight. So that's been a lot of fun. So Sarah and I'm not going to say which Sarah said, so stop doubting and allow myself to share what comes to me. To a degree, yes. Before you start to share what comes to you and just saying stop doubting, is it doesn't happen like that. The way that the doubt actually starts to shift and move out of you is by practicing and practicing what is repeatable and what is familiar. So that's where that one line, you get very, very familiar with that. That's where when you're practicing and you're educating yourself and you're upping your knowledge and you are connecting with clients and customers or people that are already experts in the field and you get very strong around your knowledge, that's what starts to um suppress that doubt in you and you get very clear and confident with saying what you do that's where then that doubt has started to minimize that's where then you can go out there and start to share your knowing now don't just go out there and kind of scream it from the mountaintops begin because if doubt was present before you started it can come back very very fast if you don't get a response that you're looking for so start having those one-on-one -on -one conversations and that's where people are going to start to give you feedback even in their responses and that's where your confidence again is going to go up and up and up so what one of the big things that i know that people often do is it's nearly like they have their hat on and, and I've seen people do this where they're talking professionally, they'll have their hat on and they've got their best face on, they've got their best words, they're going forward. And the minute that they're no longer on talking to a customer, talking to a client, being on a show, being interviewed, wherever, they actually take that off and they allow all of that doubt and all of that questioning to come flooding forward. And what I want to invite you into is as you are moving forward with what you know you do and you've got that one sentence and you've been practicing and, and that doubt is starting to come down, I want to challenge you and really invite you in to live what you know. Live this. Don't take your hat off and, and, and then need to put your hat back on. Begin to have this authority be about who you are, not just about what you do live your authority, live your knowing, not from a push energy, not from a, you know, everybody needs to listen to me. I know better than everybody else. That's not it. And don't ever be the smartest person in the room. Allow yourself to learn from other people, but don't allow yourself to fall underneath everyone else. The last thing I want to say is not all authority figures are true leaders. Not all authority leaders are true, our authority figures are true leaders. When you're someone that is coming from your heart and you're operating so that everyone wins, you're going to be a leader. And as you become very proficient in what you do, you're going to be a leader who is also an authority. Start with the leader first. Start to live from your heart and allow yourself to grow and learn. Thank you, everyone, so much for being here. Stick around. We've got another great show coming up with Bronwyn Smith. We're going to be talking about, so you want to flip a house. This is going to be fun. Remember, my friends, until next week, 
always, always remember, you can always make another choice. Thank you so much for being here. Take good care of yourself. And remember, keep asking the question, if not now, then when? You deserve it. Thank you for choosing to listen to Inspired Choices Show. Christine McIver will return next Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. We hope you'll join us. Until then, be willing to choose what you really desire. This is your life, making the choices that bring you all that you desire.